This isn't gonna work well. <laughs> it's fun. Sometimes he's naughty. Sometimes he's nice. But every time he's dirt guy. It's <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time, the show where uh, sometimes I just randomly burst out laughing on my way home from work. I really, um, I just randomly just burst out laughing. <sighs> it's a random show, what do you want? Hey, welcome to my vlog, my trip home from work, which uh, once the bug goes away, it will be two and a half hours of sitting right where I'm just flying by right now. So good times, we're had by all. Hey, speaking of uh, sitting here in traffic and whatnot, it recently occurred to me Actually, the realization of it hit in that, um, you know, I get to work at 5.30 in the morning and including my commute, I'm putting in like 13 hour days. What is that about? I, I come home and, and I try to do download my video or upload it to YouTube. And then I'm, I'm in emails, I'm approving billings because everything we do is online. And uh, that makes for a long ass day and then uh clearly i have to spend time with my beautiful wife cindy brown the queen of everything and have some dinner and you know hang out and then try to get some time in the hobby room haven't had any this week of course it's only wednesday it's hump day hey go get humped uh, <laughs> uh oh, i think i'm just out of my mind today i think i am you know uh this may be a sign of not a whole lot of great content it may be a sign so uh, speaking of the railroad this interesting thing occurred I have a, a really long train I run on my layout and, and at one point it's got to run uphill for a very long time and for this one uphill portion of it uh, the, the train don't like to go with just two locomotives at the front the wheels just sit there and spin it can't pull the damn train up so for a while there I was running it with three locomotives on the front end which is not my favorite thing to do because there's just too many lo too much horsepower for the size of the train so I had a creative idea I went through on the back of my railroad and I balanced my grade better and it uh, it'll generally now it pulls it up with two locomotives check me out right uh, problem with that when I change that grade when she's a coming back down the hill, the weight of the train is so much that it pushes against the locomotive, and there's a couple of turns it makes to get down, and the train uncouples from the locomotives. And so I see two locomotives coming down, and behind it, because it's downhill, I see this train with no locomotives on it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Uh, I wanna get back to working on that, but I haven't been able to get out into the hobby room however if you are following the model railroad channel and you do enjoy my uh actions on that channel you're gonna see a new video coming out this saturday uh totally ops video running my trains through a number of locations switching them out and uh, should be a lot of fun i'm editing that as we speak boom train update complete let's move on to a work update well okay a work update as you know we are now sitting in our beautiful F-150 Mobile Dirt Guy Drive Time Studio. Mobile. Matter of fact, my license plates say Dirt Guy. That's right. I'm legit. Too legit to quit. Ow, ow. So, uh, part of the thing is, to get the truck in service is I got to get the oil changed, which I did. I got the oil changed because they haven't been changed in a while. That's cool. But I am presently driving around without a spare tire because I blew a tire and put my spare on some time ago. Haven't had the money to put new tires on the truck. So when we're cutting this deal, I said, hey, I like the deal. I need some tires. Went to a place today and said, hey, will you take your credit card over the phone? I called them yesterday. They're like, yeah, no problem. Bring it in. We open at 8 o'clock. Boom. Okay. First thing I realized when things went awry is I showed up at 8 o'clock because I like to be prompt. And uh, there's a sign on the door saying temporary store hours, 8.30 to 4.00. You yeah, told me on the phone yesterday it's 8 o'clock. And you're saying 8.30 right now. When did that change, you jackhole? So about 8.05, I'm like, I see a dude in there. And the lights are on. Screw it. I went up and I, sure enough, the door was locked. And I jiggled, 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 jiggled a little bit. Then I just stood there staring at the dude. 
I was mad dogging him with my mask on, mad dogging him. And uh, he finally comes over to the door and he goes, he waves me in. Okay, cool. What can I help you with, sir? I'm here to get some tires for my truck. And I need you to take a credit card over the phone to do it. He goes, we don't take credit cards over the phone. I said, what do you mean we don't take credit cards over the phone? He goes, we don't take credit cards over the phone. He said, well, which one of you guys is Julio? That's Julio. Hey, Julio, I called you yesterday about a set of tires for an F-150. It told you credit card over the phone. And uh, you says, you do's it. And now he's telling me you don't. He's like, uh, oh, oh, yeah, I said we'd work something out. What are you, a car salesman now? You know, in the car business, we would do this. Somebody would say, hey, I need that uh, that Honda Civic and Candy Apple Red. Uh, do you have one on the lot? We're like, yep, we don't even look. We go, yep, got one on the lot. Cool. Ah! Don't ever do that again. Somebody pulled in front of me, hit their brakes. Boy, you guys almost got to see a show there. Good thing we've got anti-locks on this side. Wait, traffic! That's amazing. Oh, son of a bitch. I almost hit that guy. Airbags and everything. I need a moment. I was watching the road, too, jackhole. Oh, now no traffic. You son of a... Tires. Credit card over the phone. I said, well, why didn't you tell me that yesterday? Well, let me call my supervisor. Supervisor, no. So I left without tires. So I'm driving without tires again. My tires have about a... a, a 16th of an inch of tread left on me plus buckets and I'm driving 150 miles a day. I'm not comfortable right now. I'm not happy right now. Can you tell? I'm a little dissatisfied with their performance. So I gotta figure something out. Anyway, so uh, moving back to the work front, you know the uh, team tactics, still working, still a success, nothing new to report there other than, boom, making it happen. Team's in great shape. Job, not so much in great shape. <laughs> Uh, I was walking the fourth floor of my big hotel today, looking at the walls, and the drywallers have been up on that floor forever trying to get the walls right. And in an area that they're done in, I went in there with a, my assistant superintendent, a flashlight, and shined the light sideways so you could see the finish. And I'm like, did they even sand this? This is terrible. This is an upscale hotel. This ain't no uh, Motel 6. You know, this ain't your parents' bathroom over here. It's a brand new hotel. Why does it need to look like crap? So my boss, I think, is coming tomorrow. And, you know, my boss already put these guys on notice. Get her done or we're going to get someone to get her done. And I think he's going to be in the get someone to get her done mood tomorrow. Drives me crazy. I um, got an email from the the Cobra. <laughs> he's the uh, owner's rep. He's a pretty good dude when we're not talking about work. Uh, I like him. Anyway, he uh, he's saying, hey, on that tower right there, your framers put those three little windows in too high and I'm looking out there and I'm looking at the drawings now we're looking at them in relationship to the roof of the tower okay and sure enough they're right up next to the roof and there's supposed to be a gap there of like a foot and a half and it's right up against the roof I'm like well son of a bitch how did that happen freaking framers so I'm trying to figure out a way to take those windows out reframe them put them back in something to get it done and then suddenly realize something. Understand my framers do this for a living, okay? Matter of fact, the guy that owns the company's been framing since he was a sperm. Alright? So uh I compared the drawings to what I was seeing, and they didn't frame the windows too high. They framed the tower too short. Yep, it sits atop a four-story building. It's basically the fifth story, 20 inches short that's 20 american inches by the way not those cheap imitation vietnamese or chinese inches that yeah it's subjective no this is an actual tape measure inch 20 of them to be precise and then downstairs uh, on the first floor there's this uh, sliding glass door that slides into a pocket okay the drawings show how to build it and i'm out there looking at it going there's no pocket well, there's a gap between the wall. It's like that big. That gap needs to be nine inches wide. Jackal. So now they're trying to tell me that my assistant superintendent told them to frame it like that. And I'm like, why in God's name would my assistant superintendent tell you to frame it that way? Jackal. 
the drawings clearly show something else. So, I mean, those are the kind of things I'm dealing with right now. I am trying to get done, and it's just like excruciatingly, painfully slow to get done. And I'm in charge out there. I'm not the boss, though. I resigned, remember? I'm not the boss anymore. I demoted myself. I'm now the... I don't know what the freaking hell I am. But the... Uh, We'll end it on a ray of sunshine. I have a new project manager. I shall not name his name because I don't do that. But uh, he knows who he knows who I'm talking about. And you know, this guy, uh, he's just a good dude. We get along very well. We are like-minded. We recognize and respect each other's skills. Uh, he leans on me, I lean on him. And I've been able to shed some of my workload. And yet I'm still putting in 14 or 15 hours a day. I don't know how that works. Anyway, you know, that's kind of it. That, that's where I'm at today. Uh, team tactics seem to be working out okay. Uh, jobs just crap. Uh, need new tires for the truck. My model railroad's giving me fits. But I get a new video coming out, and I'd say that makes it all well. So I guess I'm going to wrap it up for this edition of Dirt Guy Drive Time. I'm running into some traffic. Don't want to get in another wreck. And until I see you tomorrow, my name is Steve Brown, and watch the car in front of you.